how to create a million dollar podcast as a conscious awakening entrepreneur. Here we go, here we flow. Welcome to the Golden Age Entrepreneurship Show. This is a daily podcast where myself, Spence, at New Earth Business on social media, founder of New Earth Business Coaching, drops a daily topic, a daily transmission on consciousness, leadership, and New Earth Business so you can build a million-dollar movement, 10x your influence, impact, and income, and have a heck of a lot more fun in your business because right here at New Earth Business, we do joyful business. If you're not subscribed to this daily transmissions on Spotify or your favorite podcast app, go ahead, do that now. Check off the little bell so you get notifications every single day, 365 days, you will be receiving a tip, tool, or tactic about new earth business. And in this episode, I want to dive into how to create that million dollar podcast. I would say I am a bit of an authority on the topic. I don't purport that I am the authority, but I would say I am a authority due to podcasting being one of my mediums that has created the most the most sales in my business. It's created some of my most high level clients that have paid me fifty, hundred thousand uh, dollar packages for my private clients. It's created amazing collaborations with other um great new earth leaders who have aligned audiences that we've been able to cross pollinate with. I'm going to go into that in a little bit. And I've, yeah, I've had some podcasts that were in the top charts for iTunes and things like that for a while, albeit full transparency. That was a little bit earlier on podcasting. Wasn't quite as heavily saturated. It is now that's a big thing right now. The market is for podcasting is getting very heavily saturated. AI is coming in, and now we're getting robots creating podcasts, and this is changing the landscape forever. So we're going to get into that, and we're going to get into how do you cut through the noise? How do you make podcasting easy? How do you take your podcast you might have right now that isn't really making sales and start making sales? And there's a bunch of different angles. This is going to just be a quick and dirty snapshot. Here's a bunch of things. Run with it. If you want to go tactical, practical with this, I recommend you do a bunch more research on industry trends and things like that because we are just covering a smattering here. Now, in my opinion, there's different wit points of a podcast. Sometimes podcasting is the podcaster just wants to get their, their message out there. They want to learn to speak better. They uh, want to talk about topics that are relevant to their ideal customers. They might be getting a news channel, whatever it is. When you come and work with me at New Earth Business Coaching, the whole point of a topic or of a podcast is to create a time-leveraged medium that builds trust through the communication of your unique genius coming out of you into the recorded medium that is the podcast in a way that ultimately shifts a belief or has a transformation for the ideal soul client who's listening to it, who then takes an action step, which is either to get on your freebie or reach out about your programs or go to your link to take an action step to bring them deeper into your movement. One of the things that we do when it comes to podcasting is making sure that our podcast is actually targeted to the right person for that. A lot of people, you do broad talk podcasting, which is great. Honestly, if you want to have a big audience, maybe you're talking about politics or something like that, you can have that big podcast. But what the big mistake that I see awakened conscious entrepreneurs making is they're not actually targeting their podcast, meaning they're not speaking to their ideal client and they're not delivering it and letting people know about the podcast in a way that their ideal client actually sees it. We're going to talk about some strategies towards the end of this transmission of what you can actually do. So ask yourself, are you making that mistake? Are you focusing too broad rather than narrowing or focusing, I like to say, what the, who the target top podcast is targeted to and what you're delivering. So if you don't know your ideal client in your offers right now, you actually shouldn't be doing a podcast. In my opinion, you should be coming to work with someone like me to really clarify what is your marketing message? Who is it you're talking to? Guess what? A lot of entrepreneurs, conscious awakening entrepreneurs get to 20, 
$30,000 months without even really knowing who it is they're talking to. And when you actually get a little bit more focused, now this doesn't mean you're niching you and your genius. It means that you're focusing your offers. So they're going to resonate with a, an ideal soulmate client who can take a buying action. So prior to having the podcast, honestly, prior to putting out even content, if it's not working to the level you know is possible, you got to strip it back to the marketing message. You got to get clear on who that ideal uh, client is. You got to know what their top desires and objections and problems that they're moving through, their challenges are implicitly. A lot of people put this on a sheet of paper in a little worksheet and they're like, oh, okay, I have it. But then you don't actually build your core business around it. And this is why you're not having the success that you could. When you have this clear marketing message and you bring it to your different mediums of, uh, of uh, potential pathways for people to come into your audience, when you bring this message to your freebies, uh, the sales pages on your website, in your emails, in your podcasts that you start or you have, in your social content on Instagram Reels, whatever, ads, when you bring that marketing message to it, everything's going to work better. And this podcast is going to assume you know who you're really talking to and you have a really strong marketing message. And it also assumes that you have a, a movement because if you come work with me at New Earth Business Coaching, the first thing we do is we define what is your unique genius? Why are you here on planet Earth? What is that soul mission that is so clear in your heart that is ready to flow out of you from the God-given gifts, the source emerging gifts, that higher power, that your full purchase purpose, power, potential. How do we bring that out in a way that inspires a movement? I call this the million dollar movement. Inspires people, your tribe, soulmate clients who want to come work with you, but not only just work in your programs or offers and pay you money and invest their time and energy into development with you and expansion and transformation, but actually become proponents and sharers of your message because they feel a part of this movement. Remember, the way forward in this new economy is to create the movement around who you are as the leader, bring in other people, call in other leaders who want to bring this energy that you know you're here to share with the world. They're going to help share it and bring it forward. While there's transformational programs and offers and products on the back end, building the business. Remember, the number one way to really have success in this applies to podcasting as well. Figure out who you are as a new earth leader. Be very clear on it. And remember, you can figure this out in real time while you still have a business. A lot of people come to me, they're making $100,000. Doesn't mean we're not starting with defining who they are as a new earth leader because that's like throwing, when you do this at, Soul, at, at Soulmate Strategy, which is my wife's company or my company, New Earth Business, we're basically, you're already this beautiful, raging, sacred fire. And we're just throwing freaking gasoline on that so you expand and you go outward. So you as your leader into the movement creation, clear movement creation, realigning the back end offers, building a couple sy simple systems that support that. This is how you move into that million dollar movement. And one of the pathways is, as we talked about at the start of this, the, the podcast. So we're clear now on the purpose of the podcast for you as a coach, healer, entrepreneur, someone who sells products online that's visionary and awakening. Target your park podcast to your ideal client in, in a way that breaks beliefs, shares your story, is relevant to them, knowing their problems, challenges, and objections, allowing a transformation to happen during the podcast, the aha, ahas, and then saying, hey, take this next step, get on my mailing list, reach about my program. That's what we're going to use as the context for the rest of this transmission. Now, my story with podcasting started uh, probably 15 years ago, back when it was very, very new. It was still niche. People didn't even know what podcasts are. It's been really cool to be in something from the beginning that's a technology that now we see the evolution of it, especially when it comes to mass communication. And I think podcasts are absolutely great. Why do I love them? Number one, they build intimacy, human to human connection. Number two, they build a lot of trust. It allows you to just share your uniqueness and your genius. Number three, it allows you as the leader to get very good, especially if you do podcasting regularly, at speaking your truth, at communicating it to your ideal client. It's also very evergreen. These episodes that I create here instead of the Golden Age Entrepreneurship Show, like they are ultimately timeless, the majority of them. So you can create time capsules that share your genius. Five, they're a great way to sell. If you notice at the end of all my transmissions, I always invite to a next step. And I, all my clients, 
who have podcasts that come to me because many of you have podcasts you are making 50, 100 grand. You have podcasts. It's not a new medium. But you come to me and I look at the podcast and I realize, wow, you're not inviting and taking the next step with calls to action nearly as congruently and as fluidly as you could. Another way to, I love a thing I love about podcasts is you can do collaborations where I do exchanges. I have guests come on. We have a conscious conversation. This was one of my core strategies with some of my other podcasts. A little bit less with this one is the daily transmissions, but um, it's a great core strategy. My wife, uh, if you look at the Soul Me Strategy Show, she releases a new podcast every week that works for her. And she does seasons. So she does 12 or 14 seasons, then take, takes a, a bit of a break to work on other projects where she'll release, you know, for three or four months, she'll release an episode a week. She takes a couple months off. She does it again. Well, half of those are collaborations with aligned um, fellow New Earth leaders where there's audience members in her audience. And I've done this in the past as well, where that that I would say, hey, let's have a conversation on your podcast. Jimmy, Jimmy's a great New Earth leader. We have a conversation. I tell them what's up with my life. We We, you know, create value within the conversation. And then people come over and join my stuff, follow my podcast. And then the thing, the newer thing to do, because it's all about co collaboration, co-creation, sacred reciprocity, no more with the competition dog eat dog trying to exploit someone else. You, I invited Jimmy over, come on my podcast. We have a great conversation. People who are my network can go over their network. Remember, there's no scarcity and lack. When you're in true new earth energy, there's no competition. So it's not like, oh, Jimmy's going to come over and he's going to cite a bunch of my clients and they're not going to work with me. No, no, no. Keep your heart open. This is limitless. It's only the old control patriarchal systems telling us that there's limits. Remember, billions of people are coming online because of this golden awakening, this grand, um, long prophesized golden age. There's more clients than ever before. It's crazy. This is the best time to be an entrepreneur. That's why I call it the golden age. There's no limit. So let's just let's just agree to wipe that scarcity for the time being. So those are some of the reasons I absolutely love podcasts. For me, with this current podcast, I decided to go deeper into my masculine discipline, which is something I've been cultivating. And, you know, I go on these ebbs and flow of these divine feminine creative outputs where I get to sleep lots and uh, I get to honor that phase of me for a little bit. And then sometimes, you know, I you know, need to do the more power, powerful, hey, I need to be able to set some sacred masculine systems, cultivate some discipline. Uh, so, can, you know, the consistency piece, very big for entrepreneurship, consistency, cultivating that. So that's why I'm doing 365 days of the Golden Age Entrepreneurship Show. You can do it in your own way. I think a great strategy for most visionary entrepreneurs who are at 20, 30, 40, $50,000, one podcast a week, make that podcast sub an hour, then have your team or build a very simple process that doesn't make it a lot to edit and get it live. And then you're going to share that with your audience. We'll talk about some of those strategies in a minute, but I wanted to loop back to the uh, my journey and the start of it. So my first podcast was called the 95 Adventure. This was a movement that I created when I had no idea what a movement was. It was just naturally came out of me when I was about 18. And it was essentially just my Instagram at 95 Adventure. It was me posting pictures of me in the mountains, crushing it before the influencer rush before, you know, crazy amounts of photographers got into taking ridiculous pics on Instagram. I was a little bit ahead of that. And I just posted pics with like, basically, some captions and it, my account grew and I thought, Hey, why don't I create a podcast? So I created the podcast and didn't really get any views, but it was the first time I went through the process of recording myself and talking and realized I really liked this medium. Now the 95 adventure was all about how can you bring joy, fun, expansion to your life? 95% of the time, allocating 5% of the time just for being human and having to deal with karma and the growth and stuff like that. But it was kind of my first foray into personal development before I really knew what personal development was, this idea of cultivating that joy and ease and flow. And the top takeaway I took from that podcasting and the 95 adventure was, number one, podcasting would be a medium that I would always really use and I would keep coming back to. And number two, don't buy into the ego trap of thinking that you can't actually activate 100% joy, ease and flow all the time. Remember, this is the great work. This is the mindset set shift. This is the personal evolution. This is ending the matrix. This is coming back into God's source, creatorness, one and wholeness. Obviously, if you're here listening to this, you haven't integrated that fully yet. I haven't either. I've gotten a glimpse of it. I know from past lifetimes I have, but that, that great that great work, it is possible to be in joy and bliss consciousness. So don't let even my 95 adventure 
dissuade you from that. And remember, if you're not enjoying your business right now, 80, 90% of the day, if there's any bit of frustration, why isn't this working? I feel plateaued. I feel like a C an employee in my business. I'm not the CEO. This is a sign to come reach out to me, work with me in New Earth Business Coaching, because that's what we switch. We have to get you in your genius and your joy and build simple backend systems, which are actually very easy to bring online that allow you to have more time leverage, aka time freedom, really scale your wealth to wherever you want to go with no limits without actually having to put more time into it. And most importantly for me, energy, making sure you're energized AF throughout your day. So not only are you energized in your business, but you're energized with your kids, you're energized with your garden, you're energized with your partner, you're energized with your dogs, whatever you're doing, your travels, you're just full on all the time. I'm not saying you're not going to have those moments, that 5%, right? We're allocating that 5% because guess what? Being an entrepreneur, golden age entrepreneur, doing this rapid awakening, there's a lot of moving parts. And that's why I encourage you to stay tuned to my daily transmissions and go ahead and subscribe on your podcast app so you don't miss any. Because we're gonna, I'm going to keep you up to date, consciousness, leadership, and new earth business related to all this stuff, including economics and the things that a lot of golden age entrepreneurs forget uh, to take into account in their business. So my second podcast was by far one of my most successful. It entered into some of the higher iTunes charts. And I think got as high as like 20 or 30. This was probably about uh, maybe not eight, eight, nine years ago. And this was when I first actually built a proper movement around a brand. Now, mind you, the brand was in the product space. It was a, uh, a outdoor gear company uh, called Mountain Obsession. But I also built the movement as Mountain Obsession the global mountain tribe is what we had called ourselves and i'll do a few i'll do a future episode on all the neat things i did to grow that movement and get people to come into my movement and become basically evangelical about sharing about the mountains and how that opens the heart space and all this beautiful stuff so that'll be in a future episode so don't miss that but i want to talk to the podcast i created with that and how it entered in the charts so mind you there were 100 times less podcasters, maybe more at the time, but it was still blowing up. Podcasting was very, you know, it was, it wasn't in its infancy anymore. It was had momentum. And I created this podcast for outdoor mountain enthusiasts. And I did about 40 episodes. And this is where I was talking about all the things that were so deep in my heart when it came to the mountains and personal development. And it brought a lot of clients, it brought a lot of sales. I, I, in hindsight, now that I've learned more, I could have created way more sales and brought it way bigger than it was. But naturally, it it was it is what it is. And the remnants of Mountain Obsession for me a decade later is I have Mountain Obsession tattooed in big freaking letters, outlined in big letters across my shoulder blades. So I get asked about that sometimes if I'm a hot springs and whatnot. And my deep passion to still hike mountains, to go into mountains and be out there, be one with the mountains and the trees and the forests. And honestly, just take my friends and family, soul family out to these sacred spots that I find for enjoying this beautiful earth realm. But there were lots of great lessons when it came to podcasts with Mountain Obsession. Number one, consistency. We talked about this a little earlier. I was putting them out a lot. Number two, uh, being willing to record at different locations. The cool thing is even then the technology exists where I was recording in the forest on my phone. I'm recording this right now into the Riverside.fm app through Spotify literally just holding up my phone and the, and the quality is pretty good um you don't need a great huge podcast studio to do this so that's a fallacy obviously uh, next time i i'm grounded in at a place right now i'm doing some travels i will definitely build the little podcast studio room and all that good stuff i love that but it's it's not necessary and i learned that through mountain obsession and it's about speaking your truth if you can speak your truth very fluidly and just keep cultivating in your podcast you're going to do really really well and then I had other iterations of podcasts from there. And this has led up to now the Golden Age Entrepreneurship Show, which is the 365 Nuggets transmissions every morning. And one of the things that I'm applying to this one, so real time, because I know you're an awakened, conscious entrepreneur who's building a movement, transforming people through your gifts, awakening humanity by showing up and speaking your truth. So I like to be fully transparent in everything. The purpose of this podcast is to give a lot of re relevant value to you, that awakening conscious entrepreneur who could be a potential movement member in the, uh, the Golden Age Entrepreneurs, which is our movement of amazing entrepreneurs who are 
who are birthing new earth through our businesses and our commitment uh, to personal and professional evolution. I'm here saying here's a bunch of value and then here's how you can take the next step. Never be afraid to sell. Never be afraid to invite. So I see a lot of people make $50,000 a month and they come to me and they're like, hey, how, how, how come I'm plateaued? And a lot of the time it's because they've forgotten that it is important to sell and to invite and not to get caught in any sticky energetics about that. It's like, hey, I provided you a bunch of value. You can take that value and run with it. I hope you had an activation. I'd love it if you subscribed. And if you're that percentage of people out there who likes my voice, you can feel the energy, you can feel my authenticity, the truth coming out of me. It's resonating. Great. Well, come take the next step with me. I have a ton of different offers for different price points at where you're at. And I'm going to make you an offer in the next few minutes here as well. So stay tuned for that. Remember, just be playful with that. If they're your sole ideal client, they want to hear about your offers. They want to hear the value. And when you're juxtapositioning value and you're not in that old competition energy of you're trying to get and claw back from people, the old patriarchal way I'm trying to trick you into it. No, hey, if you like my energy, I like the truth I'm speaking, you check out my social media, it feels really good to you, jump into my programs. I have people pay me $50,000 and they've literally they heard me on some podcasts or some of my social media they come to me they read some of the stuff like i like this guy's vibe i know he's the one to help take collapse the time frame to where i want to go help take me to the next level i'm already a, le a leader i'm going to get there but as a leader i know that i want to collapse the time frame and move really quickly that's why people pay me this money that's why people come into everything from my 97 dollar a month membership all the way to those like 40 50 50 100 000 packages don't be afraid to do that and use your podcast as that medium. A couple strategies. Obviously, the sell like I just did there, that's totally fine. When you're starting an episode, you don't have to make it that complex. Make sure you have a very clear hook that catches their attention. Tell them who you are and what the heck this podcast, this show and podcast is all about. Relevancy. Why does it matter to them? Remember, this applies to all your content, including social media. We're just talking about it through the lens of podcasts. What's the relevancy? Hit on a couple points. Tell a bit of a story, share some client case studies and wins. You don't even have to say their name. You can say things like, and I, you know, I'm working with a client in real time right now. His name is F. F is a uh, masculine leadership business coach in Australia. And I'm helping him cultivate his message because he's not where he wants to be with the amount of uh, impact influence he has, but he didn't really have a movement. It was just sort of him as a personal brand. So I'm helping with that and he's going to include a podcast. Here's why it's relevant. So you can do things like that. It's great to thread that in, do a recap at the end, make some invites. You'll notice I've also done something called seeding throughout where I refer to my offers and stuff without being super pushy about it, but also still being direct with the invitation to you, the listener. You can seed those in as well. Let's say you're a hormone therapy coach. You could be in your flow saying, yeah, and one of the things about the modern day medical system is they really push it that you need to treat the symptoms, not the root cause. I don't believe this. I don't stand for this. And you'll find when you come into my world and my programs, which are available in the link below, uh, the link below this podcast, if you're interested in checking them out and going deeper together, that we start at the traumas that the old system, the old medical industrial complex has oppressed into the energetics and into you. And we're going to talk about why you have blocks and in terms of coming back into this more natural quote unquote alternative way. Well, let's talk about this. So I have a client who is helping women heal their hormones and she works with CEOs and change makers and all these amazing people. And that is the kind of thing that she could see into there. So you can see that wasn't even a direct pitch, but it's, Hey, like you want to go deeper here. You go remember people don't know about your offers. If you're not talking about them one, two, three times a day, in little ways, it doesn't have to be a, a sales post where like, hey, here's my thing. Absolutely, you want to do those one out of five times, but seeding in these other these other v mediums, such as the podcast, the live stream, the collaboration, whatever, are great ways to get touch points. And I call them invitation points to go deeper. Just taking a look, I made a couple notes here. Okay, so I wanted to just finish off quickly around how podcasting is evolving. Now, as you get into this, maybe you're refining your podcast, you want to take it from 100 uh, views an episode 
listens an episode to a 10,000, whatever it may be, maybe you're just thinking, hey, I should mix this in. The biggest thing you have to know is AI is changing the game. If you follow any of my podcasts here, I'm a conscious awakening and entrepreneur on my own journey. I see the AI agenda. I know it's deeper than I even see right now. I know this is an interdimensional control agenda that's like filtering down into the into the general public. It's changing jobs. It could create control. And it's a tool to create leverage. If we don't give our power away and we practice discernment, we can utilize it. Now, some of the ways that podcasts are going to be utilized with AI in the next little bit, um, I'm personally not interested, but I know it will become the industry standard. So all the podcasting apps and stuff are integrating AI to some effect. The main way we're seeing this is a little button that says, hey, click here, generate a transcript. So you can get instant transcripts and instant show notes of everything from this episode. Personally, I think that's great. You take the transcript, you throw it into ChatGPT, you say, please turn this into an SEO friendly, uh, an SEO friendly description. Give me five ideas for awesome uh, podcast topics that speak into the desire. You can do this in any of the AIs and then it'll do that. That is a fast way to take back your time. That is a time-saving mechanism. And then you paste it into the thing and you're not spending hours writing a show description, not even spending 10 minutes. And it's actually extracting from the things that you probably forgot you really talked about because this has been like a 20 minute podcast. You make some tweaks or you have your team make some tweaks. So it sounds like you, you take out any words you don't like. Amazing. There you go. That's efficiency. That's built in the app. That's a time saver. However, where we're going to be going is people are now going to be doing things like taking their taking their blog post, pasting it into an AI saying, create a five to 10 minute transmission that I'm going to put into a podcast with the hook at this thing, blah, 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 give it all the parameters, spits out the text form. Now, and this is where I think it gets a little intense and creepy or could be, is now you're pasting that into a podcasting uh, voiceover that now takes that and voices it perfectly. Now, here's where it gets really creepy. And this is where the technology is already here, beloved. So stay tuned to the Golden Age Entrepreneurship Show because we're navigating this real time. There is no way to avoid the technology rise of AI, period, as a coach, healer, online service provider. It's only getting started. It hasn't begun. It's not to freak you out, but this is to say, hey, we need to practice a sermon. We need to stay aware without a doubt because you're going to take that and then you're going to go through a, not you, I doubt you'd want to do this. Maybe you would. I'm not judging. I won't want to. But it's where I would talk in my voice and it would say, hey, say the word G. I go G, E, say the word cat, cat, say the word big diggy, big diggy, whatever, right? It's trying, it's getting the intonations of your voice over 20 minutes. Then every time you paste in that text, it comes out red like you. And you wouldn't even really be able to tell that. Am I AI right now or am I not? That's where it's going to be interesting. So that's going to flood the market as well. People who don't want to speak and spend the time making podcasts can now have podcasts without actually ever holding up the mic and recording it. So you'll have to figure out for yourself, like, is that something you want to do? But that's going to continue to saturate the market. And podcasts are going to get more and more and more and more. And this is why it's so important to be niche with who you're speaking to and promote it, right? This is the final step of this podcast is you need to actually promote it. So put it on your Instagram story, send it to your email list, uh, talk about it on posts. That organic talking about it is key. You can even do things like I'm doing where I make a reel and I base the reel around like how podcasts are helping people, you know, helping my clients make millions of dollars. I have a free training, comment the word podcast, and I'll send you my favorite episode all about how I'm teaching people how to make money with podcasting. Then I could set it up in ManyChat. For me, I actually have my team set it up. They set up a ManyChat automation. They would comment off of that post. Boom. There's like four or five comments, 10 comments, 20 comments, all asking for the, the, the podcast. It, I already have it pre-programmed, sends them a quick response. So I don't have to do that all manually. You just build the back end of it. Remember, very simple systems. And then people are getting my podcast delivered. So if I make at least one reel a day that does that for my 365 podcast, maybe you're making one or two reels for a podcast you put out that week. All of a sudden, that can be 20, 30, 40 listeners. You also want to make sure you make people subscribers. Remember, people are getting overwhelmed right now, period. Even your ideal soulmate client. There's, we're in the age of information and the age of attention. The golden age is about the age of attention. At intention and attention. When you place your attention on things with intention, you can 
the world will be your oyster, right? You will literally be able to do anything you want with your business and life. But when your attention gets distracted and pulled in two different men, too many different ways, you won't be able to live that full life of joy, ease, flow, creativity, expansion, wealth, abundance, et cetera. Not to the, the level that it could be. So that's why it's so important that you encourage the people who listen to your podcast to become subscribers. Get by it. So right now, if you're listening to this resonates and you're on the Spotify app or something, please leave a review for the podcast. It's still early stages. So a positive five-star review would be awesome. And I'd love it if you would comment if you are on the Spotify app as well. I have questions and polls in there as to, to increase engagement. So you can drop me a question there. There's also a voice note feature if you are using Spotify. So send me a voice note. What's the number one takeaway? What's the number one learning you've had from this episode? So you can see, not only have I just invited you, like actually just invited you. So please, please go do that. That would be so grateful. You can now use this in yours. And you know that it's these hooks of them getting to take in those, these micro interactions that will lead to sales. This will build trust, intimacy, confidence in your product and your knowledge, your expertise. So I think I'm going to leave it there for now. Because part of how I do this podcast and things, I make sure I batch one or two podcasts a day. So that way, if I miss a day, I already have it pre-programmed. So the 365, my masculine challenge that I talked about at the start, has some in the pipeline. So reach out to me if you want to work together. We can have a discuss to see if you're a fit to jump into the New Earth Business Coaching Vortex, the 10X, your income, impact, and influence accelerator. We're going to throw some gasoline, some Spencer style gasoline onto the beautiful co-creation that you already have with your business it's a lot of fun a lot a lot of fun so you can always judge me about that and i got freebies and all that good stuff if you follow me on social media as always from my heart to yours thank you for having the courage and being willing to boldly step in to your new earth leadership and your golden age entrepreneurship we are paving a different way Humanity's awakening in real time. It's the leaders like you that I know are going to move us into the timeline of the free and abundant new earth of peace, prosperity, and purpose for all of us, doing away with any dystopian, lingering energetics, all of that program. And we're dancing between the two worlds right now. And you are that world bridger with your work, with your commitment to sharing your truth. And with your willingness to expand into your new earth leadership. So I humbly thank you for that. Keep going. Keep flowing. We are 100% united together. I'm excited to see what is coming for plant, the planet, the world, and for your business in the next little while. See you in a future episode, which I guess technically would be tomorrow.